What's up legends, LGG Alden here, so I'm back with another Game Maker tutorial. Today we're going to be making a basic wall and the collision. So for the player to collide into the wall so that walls stop the player. So if you haven't seen the first tutorial on Game Maker, I recommend go checking it out. We'll go from here though. But So let's start off. So it's kind of the same thing that you had to do for the player. Create a sprite. SPR underscore, except we'll name this one wall. Now we'll make a new sprite, it'll be 32, and we'll make it just a black square for now. That should be fine. So you don't need to mess with anything else, just make it for now. But now we need another object, so we'll name this one OBJ underscore wall. So for this, set the sprite. One thing you'll need for this is to check the box that says solid. For solid, it just means that it's a solid object. So, yeah, instead of it being a non-solid. Which, now we go into the player. So, this is where you do a little changing. So, as you saw last time, or if you followed along last time, this is what you had. So, it was the key moving up, down, left, and right, and checking that. But now we need to check for collision, or for the wall, pretty much, to see if something's there that it'll hit. So, for this, you do. we're going to do add to it. So key up, and then if you do two ampersand symbols, it basically will mean, that means and. So it needs to check if the key W or the key up is being pressed, and it needs to check for another statement. So the second statement we'll be checking for is place underscore free. And this uses an X and Y, so for this we'll be X, and then we'll do Y minus SPD. Okay, so... Let me explain this. So, place underscore free. So, I mean, it's checking if the place that it's, the X and Y that it's looking for, if that is free, and now, so that means if the key up and if the place that it's checking is free, then it will move the player's Y axis up, or the Y for the player up. So, what it's basically, because if you can tell, it's the X, and then it's checking the Y minus the speed, which is basically what it does if it does work. So it's checking if there is a solid there, and if there isn't, then that means it can move. But if there is something there, then no, it can't move because there's a solid. So basically, it's the same thing. So we'll copy paste this into all of them. This, except this one is plus, and this one needs to be minus speed, y, and this one will be plus speed, comma y okay so there we go so now it does the x and the y's and it checks all that and it gets the WASD so now it should work we'll test it out right now so we'll go into the room test and we will go to the same way that we added the player go to the objects tab and then you select LBJ wall this time so we'll place a couple of walls over here we'll place some over here and this should all work. We'll do a couple little squares here and there. Okay, so now you can run it with with the green play button. Now let's see if this works. Make sure. Okay, so now we're moving, and as you can see, it hits all of them, but it will not actually full on get stuck. It will collide with them, no matter what side it's on, which is pretty much what we were looking for. It's what we were going for. Even corners work good and everything like that. So we should be good for now. I think everything seems to be working fine. And yeah, actually, one thing that we will change also, so you can check bar, click the check mark on the room, go back. So now we'll go to the player. One thing we will do is modify his mask. So the mask is basically checking the actual, like, solid, like the point of the player, like what is actually classified as the sprite. So even if you have the image and some of it's like invisible, it could still count as what, like so like for the collision, it checks it. So we need to, we'll change that to to the, we'll do actually we'll automatic, but we'll put precise. So precise, as you can see now there's nothing that goes outside of the actual sprite. So you click OK. And now we should be able to, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it'll work, we'll have to try it. We should be able to, like, hit corners better. Yeah. 
I don't know. That seems to work fine. Uh, I guess you do get a little stuck on uh, not really. I don't know. Maybe we should hmm. I don't know. Maybe for now actually for now you don't have to do that cuz that might cause a little bit of wall glitch. You don't want to get stuck in the walls. I don't know. But I think it should seem to work fine. Everything works fine and all the walls and all the collision and that. And you could also do the same collision sort of thing with other solid objects. So here we'll create another thing just for another SPR underscore we'll name it um wall 2 why not okay it's just a simple name so like this except this one will be say a let's do a I don't know how we should do this let's do like a diagonal line maybe no that won't work go like this so if we go like that so this is just like a different shape then so we could duplicate this object so if you do duplicate it basically takes all the properties of it and we'll name it wall 2 and we'll give it the sprite property of wall 2 and so then you can go and you could place wall 2 in go like this now the collision should work exactly the same so even if it's not a square a solid square except you may get stuck on it no you don't yeah except the way that the wall is so if we change this go mattify mask put it precise again so it's directly the wall now here we go let's try this out and yeah there you go you can get a little bit closer that means you can move diagonal now right next to the wall so yeah okay so you probably you don't really need I'm just gonna delete the wall too that was just a test for that but I'm probably going to end this episode here. If it was a little long, I don't know. Hopefully it wasn't. But hopefully I got everything across for how to make the wall. And that's pretty much just your basic collision for your player. Like I said, you can do other shapes and all that should work fine. And if you want to add on to yourself and figure out things, go for it. But uh, if you guys have any questions about this, make sure to comment it. Anything you need help with, comment it. And if you want to figure out if there's anything you want to see near in the future, also you can comment that, and I'll hopefully get to it. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, see you next time.